The much anticipated Xiaomi Yi has arrived here at Camera Law, and we were keen to put this inexpensive action camera powerhouse to the test against the competition. The question is, what is the Yi really competing against? We decided to pit the Yi against the newest action cameras closest to its price bracket. In this case, the SJCam SJ5000 Plus and the GoPro Hero. Without further ado, let's take a look at some of the comparison footage we shot. You may notice that the color and the value of the SJ5000 Plus comes out more saturated than the Hero and the Yi. This is from all the cameras left on their default settings. While many people will like the extra saturation that the SJ5000 brings, one of the reasons that GoPros are extended for broadcast and professional filming is that the GoPro's color neutrality is more conducive to post-processing, and you're not losing as much value information to darkness. Pleasantly in that regard, the Yi is actually fairly color neutral in videos, which is a good thing if you intend to do any editing. What the SJ5000 Plus and the E can do that the Hero cannot is film in 60p. So let's bump it up and take a look. Sixty FPS and a sixty-four dollar camera is impressive, but keep in mind for this price point that the Xiaomi Yi is the only camera of the three that doesn't come with a protective case. For that matter, it's worth mentioning that while the SJ5000 Plus is one hundred seventy dollars, it comes with a staggering number of accessories out of the box. With that in mind, the Yi is the only camera in this test filming outside of a case. In particular, the case of the SJ5000 is known to produce a vignette around the corners of the image. One thing we did observe with the Yi is that in both video and still images, the right side of the image was noticeably blurrier than the left, an issue that no amount of cleaning seemed to resolve. We confirmed that this issue seemed to affect the second Yi that we tested, leading us to believe that may be a manufacturing and assembly issue. What it looks like to me is that the lens and the sensor beneath it might ever be so slightly misaligned. With that said, this looks like an issue that ought to be fairly easy for Xiaomi to rectify. We actually found that the night footage and pictures of the GoPro Hero to be fairly competitive in quality despite its lower resolution. It would appear that the Hero might rely on a larger physical pixel size in the sensor to capture more light. Aside from the lens aberration, we found the Yi to be fairly competent in what it is set up to do within its price bracket. So let's take a quick look at it from a tabletop perspective. Handling the Yi, the first thing you will probably notice straight away is just how light and hollow feeling it is. Xiaomi has definitely omitted a lot of things we are used to seeing on GoPros to reduce costs like rubberized coatings and LCDs. Speaking of which, the omission of a screen UI is something we found ourselves missing when trying to set up the Yi. For the most part, Yi owners will have to rely on Yi's smartphone app that brings us to a caveat. As of time of this filming, all the tutorialization for the Yi's app and much of its user interface will only make sense to you if you can read Chinese characters. Of course, at the time of this filming, the Yi is still firmly aimed at the mainland Chinese market. One other thing we found very curious is the fact when we pair the Yi with a phone, it's recognized as a... SJ cam? What? So this new market entry has turned out to be a very interesting one for us, and we are keen to see where it goes in the near future. It's early days yet, and we are certain that Xiaomi will bring the pedigree of its smartphone design and production to play as it becomes more experienced with this product. If you're a Malaysian viewer, you can take a look at the Yi on Camerala.com, linked in the description below. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and action cameras and everything GoPro. Thanks for watching, and have a great shoot.